There are three imaging mode choices. Classic view, lumen view, and silk view. These settings emphasize and enhance the intravascular image based on personal preference. All imaging modes are functional when operating in high or standard definition. In either 60 or 40 megahertz frequency, you can make changes to the selection of smooth, gain, and zoom, which are retained in memory so it is not necessary to reset each time the system is used. To turn smooth on or off, press the smooth button. When on, the green light on the button is illuminated. The zoom button sets the field of view to 10, 8, or 6 millimeter diameters. Gain can be set from 0 to 10 bars by pressing the smaller button on the left to lower the gain or the larger button on the right to increase gain. The closed study tab has the following functions. Open a single study for analysis. Open a grouped study. Permanently delete selected studies. Export selected studies to a DVD or USB drive. Select all non-archived or all archived studies. Deselect all selected studies. The Open Study tab has the following functions. Manually enter patient information from the Open Study load patient information from the patient list with Assist Connect, label the study type and location, delete, export, and close the open study. After a study is closed, no additional imaging or recording is possible. The controls for starting imaging and recording are disabled in a reloaded study. When a closed study is reloaded, a copy of the study is created with a new study number. Any changes made to this copy, including measurements, annotations, renamed data, or deleted data, are saved to the copied study. The original study cannot be altered. The original study and all copies are saved together in a grouped study. To reload a closed study, press Archive, then the Closed Study tab. The stored studies are arranged in rows on the screen. Press any column heading to sort the studies by that feature. Press on a row to open that study or a grouped study. If a grouped study is selected, a grouped study list tab opens. Press on a row to open that study. Press reload study. It can take a moment to open the analysis screen for the selected study depending on the number of loop and stills in the study. It's important to remember reloaded studies do not automatically export to assist connect. Instead, you must manually enable the auto export feature. By default, the HDI system names loops and stills with sequentially numbered labels. To rename a loop or still, press Analysis and select the loop or still. Press Rename and enter a new name. Press Done when finished. To remove unwanted loops and still frame images from the system, press Analysis and select the loop or still image to delete. Press Delete and confirm by pressing OK in the pop-up window. The console interface has four interface areas available for operating the system. Acquire, Analyze, Archive, and Assist HDI information. 
Upon power-up, the system opens to the Acquire Interface screen, where imaging and recording occur. Press Analyze to open the Study, Review, and Playback interface. Press Archive to open the section where you can enter patient information, and Open, Close, Delete, and Export Studies. Press Assist HDI to open the information screen. This view contains two tabs, Info and Settings. This is also where the shutdown button is located. Information screen is accessed by pressing the Assist HDI button in the upper right aspect of the screen. The Info screen has two tabs, Info and Settings. The functions available on the Info tab are Shut down the system, View system software and firmware details, View serial numbers for all hardware, Check Assist Connect status. The Settings tab has the following functionality. Enable and disable Graticules. Select the color temperature for the monitor image display. Export the imaging logs. Reset the imaging parameters settings to the default values. The Settings tab also contains the administrator login area necessary for entering the institution name, date, and time, as well as enable and configuring Assist Connect.